Hi everyone, today I will show you how you can write your academic papers in Obsidian and you can convert them into different formats like Word document, PDF document or even LaTeX for easy sharing. The first piece of software which we need is Pandoc and you can install Pandoc easily by going to this web address pandoc.org and on top you can see the instructions for installing. Just click on that and you can see different ways to install Pandoc on different operating systems. The most common way is to download the installer file and install through that installer file. So we will just click on download the latest installer and it will lead us to this github page where all the installation files for different operating systems are given. So as I am using Windows, I will just download the installer file for Windows. So just click on this file dot msi file and it will uh, download. So I have already downloaded the file. I will just show you that here it is in my downloads folder. So after downloading the file, just double click and uh, the installation wizard will start and you can just install pendoc through this wizard. Next I will make sure that the pendoc commands are available from anywhere in the system. To demonstrate this let me open command prompt and let me check a simple pendoc command which is pendoc dash dash version and you see this uh, command is not working. But if I give the same command from uh, the directory where pendoc is installed let me open the directory I have installed pendoc in C program files. So if I open a terminal window here and I give the same command pandoc version, this command is working. So what I want now is to set up the system in such a way that the pandoc commands are available from anywhere in the system. For this, I will add this path in the path system variable. To do this, I go to system settings and in system settings, you can go to advanced and environment variables just click on this and there are all the system variables so we will check the path system variable so this is the path system variable double click this and make sure whether pendoc is here or not so definitely it's not here that's why pendoc commands are not working so we will add uh, the path of the pendoc directory here to add the path click new and just copy and paste this path of the pendoc directory after that click OK then again click OK OK and restart the system without restarting these system variables will not take effect so I have restarted the system let me check again whether the pendoc commands are working or not open command prompt I will check the same command pendoc version and now it's working so that means uh, the pendoc path has been successfully added in the path system variables Next, we need to install a LaTeX distribution and this is required to convert your notes in Markdown into either LaTeX or PDF through LaTeX. So there are many different LaTeX distributions, but personally I like uh, MicTech and you can download this by going to this web address MicTech.org and here is a tab for downloads and you can see right away there is an installer file for Windows. Download this installer file. I have already downloaded this file so now I will show you how you can install MicTech on your Windows PC. So here in my file explorer you can see the downloaded file so I will double click this file and it will initiate the installation wizard. So I accept the MicTech copying conditions. Next install MicTech only for me that's okay for me and this is the path where MicTech would be installed preferred paper A4 and install missing packages on the fly. If some packages are required uh, during conversions, it will ask you and you can install those packages. And we will start the installation. You can check for updates and you can skip them as well uh, as you like. I would advise you to restart your computer before proceeding any further and after the restart we will configure the settings uh, in the obsidian itself. Let's go to obsidian now to install some plugins. You need one plugin in obsidian to communicate with pendog. So let's install that plugin. Go to settings, 
community plugins and browse for plugins and that's called pandoc here it is the first one i have already installed this plugin and i suppose that you are also interested in inserting citations within documents and while converting the documents you also need to format the citations properly so for that purpose you need an other plugin which is uh, zotero integration so let's search for that plugin integration this one and we have already installed this one as well let me show you how you will configure these plugins so in pandoc plugin you don't need to change anything if you have installed pandoc and lotec distribution according to my instructions but if this plugin has some difficulty in finding the pandoc or pdf lotec utility you have to provide custom paths uh, for the installation directories of pandoc and pdf lotec here so we don't need to put anything in these two uh, blocks here what we need is to give some extra arguments to pandoc so the arguments are uh, csl this argument specifies which citation style would be used during the conversion and the other argument is a bibliography which will specify which bibliography file will be used uh, for the conversions so that would be a bib file dot bib file which we will generate from zotero so csl file could be a file in your local directory or it could be a file uh, which is stored anywhere on the internet so there are many repositories available from where you can download these uh, csl files for formatting the citations so this is the official zotero style repository and you can search for the citation style of your journal here this is another repository on github which contains all the citation styles you can download these csl files or you can specify the url of these uh, files so let's say we are interested in american association for cancer research so let me see the raw file and i will copy the link for this file and i will paste this url in front of csl here so paste there should be a space between csl and this url now the other file which we need is bibliography file and you can generate this bibliography file by opening your zotero library and exporting your zotero library file export library and you have to export this as better bib text file and you can keep this updated whenever you add a new item in your zotero library it will also be updated in the better bib text file so let's save this file and i will recommend you to not include any spaces in the file names so i have saved uh, my library as my underscore library in the obsidian vault so the bibliography file which i am mentioning here would be my underscore library dot pip and we need to add another argument third argument which is required to process uh, the citations and that's called cite proc so now these three arguments are completed csl argument bibliography argument and the cite proc you don't need to mention anything in front of cite proc and that's all for pandoc plugin so let's go to zotero integration plugin i have a separate video on this plugin where i have shown how you can use it to integrate your obsidian vaults with zotero and to import nodes from zotero so if you are interested you can watch that video for this video we are only interested to use this plugin to insert citations in the pandoc format so we will add a citation format here so we can easily insert citations directly from zotero into obsidian vault in the pandoc readable format so for that click add citation format before that you need to specify the database which you are going to use and if you are integrating this setup with zotero you have to specify zotero here so citation format we need to add a citation format let's call it pandoc 
and the format should be in the pendoc readable form pendoc and that's it so let's check whether it's working or not so your zotero software would be up and running for this so let's check control p zotero integration and i want to insert a citation in the pendoc readable form pendoc and it will take me uh, to this block here where i can search for my items in the zotero library let's say i want to insert this citation in the pendoc readable format enter and this is the format for pendoc so in other words it's add sign and then the site key i have already prepared a small file here so let's try the conversion of this file and you can see in this file i have included uh, some pandoc readable citations i have included a figure as well and i have included a heading for references on top this is the metadata where i have included the title and author Let's try to convert this note into a Word document. So control P, pen doc, export as Word document. Successfully exported. So let's see in the vault here. So this is my Obsidian vault and here is a PDF file by the same name, pen doc tutorial file. So let's open this file and you can see that it has been not only converted into a Word document, but the citations are also formatted properly and the references are added in the end. You can customize the colors and the formatting in this Word document, um, but I will not include those customizations in this video, otherwise this video would be too long. And in the end, let's try to convert this and export it as a PDF document via LaTeX. So control P, pen doc, export as pdf via latex so let's try this exporting and because we have installed uh, MicTech recently it will ask for some packages which are required for this conversion so we have to install these packages otherwise the conversion will not be successful install after all the packages are installed the conversion will be processed so this is the pdf file which was outputted and you can see that it has been processed and all the citations have been formatted and the citations would be included in the end. That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video and you have learned something and you will utilize this in your daily workflows. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.